the legend of Old Mother Red Cap. There are three candidates for this legend. The first and most popular candidate is Jeannie Bingham. Widely believed to have lived on the site of the World End pub, which was originally called Old Mother Red Cap, but actually lived across the road, which is now Camden Town Tube Station. Bingham was born round about the beginning of the 17th century in Kentish Town. Camden was not the mecca that it is today and was a small village between the larger St Pancras and Kentish Town. Her parents were later accused of using witchcraft to murder a young woman. The witch hunts were not just fluent during the Puritan period and were very active during the first half of the 17th century. It was a fairly good way of getting rid of competition and settling old scores by feeding the hysteria of the ignorant. The men in Ginny's life mysteriously disappeared, apart from two. One was hanged at Tyburn, and the other one's charred remains were found in Bingham's oven. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, amazingly, Bingham was acquitted of her partner's murder after the witnesses came forward and said they'd often seen him hide from a vicious tongue by climbing in the oven. Towards the end of the 17th century, hundreds of witnesses claimed to have seen the devil enter Ginny's cottage. That's a lot of people for a small village. Uh, the next morning she was found dead in front of her oven with a teapot full of drugs and herbs. Uh, apparently her body was so stiff they had to break her arms and legs to get her body in the coffin. The other two candidates are the landlady of the old mother red cap and across the road from there the black cap which was named after the Yorkshire witch old mother Shipton. The black cap later become the haunts of the serial killers Dennis Nielsen and Anthony Hardy, the Camden Ripper. 